Hi everybody, I am going to do the contour stick today. I kind of um, was gonna do that last week and I totally forgot. So I have absolutely nothing on my face besides our Glorious Touch Primer. As you can see, I have some discoloration and definitely some um, acne scarring. Um, I have a lot of sun damage from when I was a kid, so. Anyways, I'm gonna use our contour stick. I have never done this before, so you will have to bear with me. Meaning I have never just solely used the contour stick for my makeup. I just forgot I was going to grab um, one of my beauty bud blenders. And I think I can only find, oh, here it is. Here's my bigger one. Okay, so contour stick. It has a highlighter and a contouring side, a darker side. So I use medium. Um, I know a lot of girls that use white, but I'm gonna go with medium. So you wanna go under your eyes with the highlight. Seriously, this is gonna be a new experience for me because like I said, I have not used this solely alone. And I know a lot of people who do it, they swear by it. I'm gonna kind of go up here. I'm gonna look crazy for a while. This will probably give you light to medium coverage. I might use a powder over it for that extra coverage. Um, then I'm gonna take my dark and fill in. And I might go back. You're gonna get the hollows of your cheeks. I actually seen this thing. I was watching some tutorials the other day. Since I have a round face, they recommended that I go like this. So I'm gonna try it. And then you wanna get, of course, I got that double chin thing going on. I'm probably using way too much product. My big nose, I got the Potter nose, Benish nose. So I'm gonna get that. And then my forehead, let's get that. I love, love, love this contour stick though. I use it a lot for, maybe I'm using way too much product for highlighting though. I'm actually gonna go that so now I'm gonna just fill in with this everything you see on YouTube is true right like I should listen to it <laughs> let's go down a little bit more okay so what do you think do I look crazy yet of course I do I look crazy my kids always get a kick out of this so I'm gonna blend it, and like with any time you use your blending blood, I'm gonna put a little setting spray on it, just so the product doesn't soak in to the bud. Okay, now I gotta find. So we're gonna do the light first, and kind of blend all that, and I'm gonna bring it up over my eye, trying not to get that. This is like a simple thing to like keep in your purse too, for touch-ups. I'm gonna look in my mirror a little bit because I can see a little bit more what's going on. I'm just kind of winging it, guys. Just winging it. Look how much difference that made already. And the highlight lighting side has a little bit of shimmer in it, which is kind of cool. Okay, then I'm gonna use the powder concealer brush. If there's one brush you can get that I would recommend that is like, does is a workhorse and does a million different things. Sorry, Landon's like hollering in the background. This is it. This is a workhorse. So just blend that out and like, I may have gotten too much product, but we will get that all fixed. We will get that fixed. And I can see in my mirror a little bit better than I can. Oh yeah, we'll get that fixed. That worked perfect. You just want to kind of buff this out. And buff. I should have totally took a before and after. That would have been a smart idea. Get all this down here. I probably put too much product there by the looks of it. 
So between the beauty bud or the blender and the brush, you can really do a really good job buffing this out. You could probably just use the brush alone, honestly. Oh my gosh. You guys, that is awesome. It gave me some really good coverage. I think it did a great job. It hid my discoloration. Like, how easy is that for a quick look in the morning? For those of you who don't want to mess with too much product. I just need to blend this out a little bit more. And I think I'm good. I love it. I'm going to use a little setting powder just because that's what I prefer. So I'm gonna use, well actually, why don't we just, to show how multi-purpose our tool is, I'm just gonna use this again. I'm just gonna use a little setting powder to set it all. This is our Touch Behold setting powder. I recommend it, especially if you have oily skin, it's great to set with. I use both. I use the setting powder and I use um, and I use the setting spray. But if you have oily skin, I definitely would recommend the Behold Touch setting powder. It's kind of cool because it has this little stopper, so the product doesn't get everywhere. So seriously, all I used for this complete base face look, which I'm pretty impressed with because I had never done this before on its own, is the primer. I use the medium contour stick and then I set it with the setting powder and you can just use your powder concealer brush or a beauty blender. So I hope you guys um, got some tips off of that and um, just let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.